Now on the subject of analog meters which uh, unfortunately don't offer a, a tilt stand this is a rather beautiful uh, English made uh, AVO. Uh, the, the fellow that designed the original AVO meters pretty much originated the, the concept of an all-in-one multimeter back in the mid to late 1920s. Um, this is a, a beautiful meter. It's very accurate on all ranges, but uh, if you notice the size of the thing, next to the Fluke 87, it, it's rather large, and uh, uh, you pretty much have to tilt it on its back to use the thing, and and that makes it a little uh, 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 a little inconvenient for me to use here in the shop. I really wish it had a tilt stand. Uh, but it's a, a beautiful meter and wh what other meter will let you do this? Multimeter? Robot head? Multimeter? And robot head? That alone is worth the cost of admission. Now this is actually the NATO version. You can see here the NATO stock number and it comes in this uh, this nice little uh, uh, I guess leather case with a, a strong handle and the the lid will rotate around and here we are again uh, with the cover rotated around. As you can see there's uh, storage here for leads and extra batteries and so forth and access is through four screws in the rear of the unit um, and these bottom two have, have little plugs to uh, to make access a, a little less obvious and of course your battery cover and a, a fairly full set of instructions uh, right here on the back uh, uh, brief mention of calibration, how to how to transport it, how to set it for transport, uh, AC and DC uh, operation, resistance ranges, battery replacement, uh, fuse, and so forth. Well, the one thing about AVOs is they're really designed for horizontal operation. Uh, even you just sitting on the bench like this, if you you can use it, but this dial scale. Uh, gets to where you can't read it up here uh, if you're over about four feet tall anyway. Okay and this is the inside of that AVO Model 8 Mark V. Now as AVOs go this is a later model from around 1985. Uh, as I understand it your old timers don't think too much of these flexible PC boards but really it, it is once again a, a thing of beauty. Here's your thick film resistors. Here's a another uh, probably a shunt module there of some sort. Your AC current transformer. The batteries are in the the rear compartment. These wires uh, can be unplugged uh, to facilitate access or service. And from another angle, this here showing some of your uh, high voltage resistors. Unlike your earlier AVO meters, which had uh, exposed uh, meter movements, this meter movement is enclosed along with its mechanical cutout circuitry. Nevertheless, they still put some grease in the uh, inside of the uh, cabinet there to to, uh, to help capture any any loose debris that might uh, that might get inside there. And speaking of contamination and so forth, there is a, a thick rubber O-ring all around. Uh, first uh, full scale on a given range and then mid scale. We're on a 3 volt DC range. Yeah, I would say that reads about 3 volts exactly on the mechanical scale. Two. Pretty good accuracy still for an analog meter. Let's try mid scale, about one and a half volts. Right about there. 
Okay. And let's try 10 volt range. accurate there. We're still pretty much centered on the needle there. and There we go. That was more fun than it was worth. Okay. Five volts approximately. Okay. 30 volt range. And pretty good there, looks like. Mid scale. and 15 volts mid scale pretty good once again 100 volt range this is getting boring every time I take a voltage reading it's right on Okay, about 50 volts. Fifty point one. Three hundred volt range. Ooh real close. And starting to get a tiny bit of error there looks like. Actually let me readjust that. There you go. The needles well centered. 300 volts and there we go. Now let's try about mid scale once again. One hundred Once again with this power supply I'm limited to about 500 volts or so. We'll go to the 600 volt range. Okay, this would be 500 volts indicated, 250 times 2. You have to do a little mental arithmetic on this range. And outstanding accuracy. Now one thing I forgot to mention on the AVOs, uh, they each have uh, three uh, separate uh, resistance centering uh, adjustments there. Um, one for uh, R times 1, R times 100, and R times 10K. Uh, um, also here's your uh, reset for the mechanical cutout and this is a uh, polarity reversal switch. Uh, unfortunately it's momentary contact only.